Steve, when you talk about vision, you know, there are those of us, I do a vision board every year, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But vision, you are talking more about vision, meaning purpose. It's sort of like examining oneself to identify what your gifts and strengths are, therefore identifying your purpose, therefore living out your vision. So can you take us on that journey, how you lead with a vision and how you thought that you had to start with this in the book? Yeah. Even So early on in my career, I started my first company when I was 26 and it was a marketing company. And at 27, I bought my first company, which was a publishing and a printing firm. And within a few years, we had 700 employees and they would come and say, you know, how can I be a top sales rep or how can I be a top manager? And I thought I could give a few answers, but I knew there was a lot I did not know. (laughs) And uh, so I decided to begin a research that I thought would take a few years. It ended up taking over 40 years by the time I finished it. And and what I was looking for is what set apart high-performing individuals and teams from everybody else. And I interviewed over 150 CEOs around the world, studied the lives of historical figures that have made our world a better place. And what we discovered, Michelle, is that none of these people were perfect. And yet we saw over and over 12 things that they did that created this excellence that set them apart from everybody else. And that's what we put in the book, Becoming Your Best, The 12 Principles of Highly Successful Leaders, Uh, because we found that these were timeless and universal principles that if you did them, they created excellence. And so this is what we started teaching around the world. And we're so fortunate to have a great reception to it. And as we went through this, we noticed that three of these particularly were habits that created uh, excellence in terms of personal transformation and leadership, uh, being more effective in terms of high performance. And so those three principles that these highly successful leaders did were lead with the vision. If you look around, every wonderful leader, Martin Luther King, John F. Kennedy, Mahatma Gandhi, Uh, Abe Lincoln, I mean, you go through them, they created a vision. And whether it's a large organization or a team or a family, the principles still apply when you create that vision. It's like you said, Michelle, now uh, it brings out within you what your purpose is, what your passion is. And uh, no longer are you looking to others or the great quotes that we like is you either lead your life by design or you will live a life by default. Ooh, yes. And so this is, once you have a vision, you start leading a life by design, including your own life, Mm -hmm. including your relationships and your work. Mm -hmm. And so this is the starting point. So this book has three high performance habits aligned with those three principles, lead with the vision, manage with the plan and prioritize your time. And so what are the habits that really anybody can master. It is having a personal vision. That's one of the habits. That's what you were just talking about. Yes. It embodies your your passion, your purpose, you know, why you're here. And it's different for every single one of us. Yes. Uh, the second is the habit of having annual goals, but in a very specific way, because it's answering this question. I love the name of your show. Life is a sacred journey. Isn't that wonderful? Well, when you think about it, we only have one shot at 2021. Uh, We'll only have one shot at the next year. Never again will it come. So once you have a vision, now you're down that pathway and saying, okay, that's the direction. Well, your annual goals are, what will I do this year that represents the best within me? Uh, You're going to say, personally, what's the most important thing I can do? How about my relationships Mm -hmm. with my family? Mm -hmm. And and how about professionally? What's the very best I can do? And when people start getting this, and, and, and I might add, this is both a mindset. In other words, how you think, right? But it's also a skill set of knowing how to write goals. And then the last one is, 
uh, how to prioritize your time. The high performance habit is something we call pre-week planning. Taking a few minutes during the weekend before the week starts and in a very specific way by thinking of your roles in life, what are the actions you can take in combination with commitments that you have that create a great week. And this is where the rubber meets the road. So it's vision, here's the direction. What are my goals for the year? And now, how do I execute on those? When someone masters these three habits, it puts them in a class of their own. 